everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. So I've got another Scrap It video. So this one is just this tile effect using scraps. So the blue was scraps and the pattern paper is from the Circus Collection. And I've just got this thank you sentiment which I'll show you in a moment. So this one I made during a Facebook Live and I've done the 12 blue squares and the 12 pattern squares. But the blue squares I've done as one and a quarter square on here. You can see there's quite a small kind of red gap between. But for today's I'm gonna to do the blue square as one and one eighth of an inch square just so I've got a slightly bigger gap so I can see between the two which one I prefer. So I went ahead and cut 12 pieces of gold and those are one and one eighth of an inch squared and then I've cut or punched in my case because I have a one inch punch all of the ones in the pattern paper and that's using this one inch punch here it's an old one from Stamping Up they still sell them they're really handy I always say to people when they ask like kind of essential pieces to have in their craft room I do say get yourself some of the basic shapes in punches because it just can speed up things when you're crafting so I have uh, I think I've got the one inch then I've got a one and a quarter no, it's one and a half, sorry, um, and then a two. The circles, I've got them in more increments. I think I've got like one inch, then one and a quarter, one and a half, one and three quarters, two, two and a half. Yeah, so I've got quite a few of those. And they're by different companies because not all companies do them in all of those increments. So you might find that you have a one inch from one company and then another company does a one and a quarter inch. So, um, but as long as they, you know, they do the job. But punches are great. So um, yeah, if you can get your hands on them and you can pick them up, they're very cheap in places like Hobbycraft and on your UK kind of, well, I say UK, but your, your selling site. So eBay, Amazon, places like that, people sell them. So um that's what I've used, but of course you can just use a trimmer. You could also just kind of pencil out your grid on your scraps and then cut it with scissors. So there's a few ways to do that. So I've got here my six by six card blank. And then I've got this piece, which is five and three quarters squared, which is just gonna go over the top. But I'm gonna just work on this piece first of all. So I've put some foam pads on the back. So I'm gonna have four along the top. I'm gonna to have a gap and then I'm gonna have the rest along the bottom. Okay, so it's going to be something like that. And then I've got the patterns, which are going to go over the top. And again, I've put those on a little foam square. Because it's obviously quite a flat card, I like to just have that dimension there. So I will do all that, you know, better in a moment. But just so you can kind of see the layout. I always like to kind of plan things out first and lay it all down. You might want to have squares over everything and just have a little sentiment down here. You might want to have all of, all of the kind of 12 squares at the top and then the sentiment along the bottom. That we could try something a little bit different like that we don't have to have them maybe i could do i quite like the thought of having the sentiment at the top on this one so maybe i'll do that might as well do something a little bit different and then this is going to go here now this one here is from the bright roses sentiment words and when I, this one is half price and it's i love all of the word sets from this collection lots of them are sold out now but this one is still available and it's got the thank you the hello which i've used on many tutorials and you've also got thanking you but then you have all these bubble words with the shadow and you've got happy no sorry lovely so you can have hello lovely you've got always so thinking of you always and then you've got you so you could have hello you um you could have lovely you you know there's so many ways to do this and then that one there is well, that one's many so you've got lots of different ways you know to put them together make your, your own kind of little sentences up and stuff so I've gone ahead and already cut it using some fun foam so you can see there just you can get this or foam I say fun foam because that's how it's kind of worded on a lot of the packs but it's very inexpensive a couple of pound and you get quite a lot and you usually find it in the kids sections in your arts and craft stores and stuff but that's going to go in this case now on the top and then I'm going to cut it again just in white cardstock to stick on the top so I'm just going to run that one through my machine I've just put some tape just so I've got that perfect frame because you can cut it if you didn't use the frame you can cut these actually into the cardstock and that's what I've done with the inside out card so if you haven't seen that and you'd like to see the effect that these dies will give you that one says happy birthday because that's from a different set but you'll see how it cuts actually into the cardstock and it looks really nice Okay, so you can see there, that's cut nicely and that's going to stick over the top of that. So I'm going to go and get this all stuck down.
Okay, so here is the finished card. I just love the way that gold catches the light. It just frames the pattern paper. All made from scraps. You know, you can make such wonderful cards just with your scraps. So I really like it. I think they both look great. So you can go, you know, either go for the one and a quarter and you just get a thinner frame. Or with this one here, you can see if you do the one and one eighth, you get that thicker frame. I like the thank you at the top on this one, but I also like it you know, on that kind of second row, you could have it on the third and you could have it at the bottom. And obviously a lot of you will have different sentiments anyway. So I always look forward to seeing how you will put yours together. But I think this one's turned out really great. So thank you for watching. Again, next Monday or every Monday will be the Scrap It video. So if you'd like to use your scraps and you'd like to make those kind of cards, then tune in. If you haven't subscribed, just hit my face just here and then you'll get notification every time I upload a video. And there should be the two other Scrap It videos popping up now as well. So thanks for watching and I'll be back again very soon. Bye.